Welcome to ForksTV.com. It's Wednesday, October 31st. I'm Remy Hookie with your breaking news report. The Federal Reserve Monetary Policy Committee cut interest rates by a quarter point to 4.5%. The rate decision was a 9 to 1 with Fed's President Thomas Honig voting to keep rates on hold. Today's FOMC decision was widely in line with expectations. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve cut the discount rate by 25 basis points. In post FOMC trade, euro dollar is at 144.60 as of 2:35 p.m. Eastern Time. Sterling dollar is at $2.0787. Initially, equities saw a pullback, but the Dow is up again by 11 points, and the initial retreat in equities weighed on the carry trade. Now we're joined by Brian Dolan, chief currency strategist at Forex.com, with his post FOMC Forex commentary. Hi, Remy. Uh, today, the Fed uh, lowered interest rates by 25 basis points. Which which is what the market was expecting. Uh, the accompanying statement, however, uh, was a little more hawkish than what the market had been looking for. Uh, and the key element there was that they indicated that the risks to growth and inflation uh, are roughly balanced. And uh, in the previous statement, they had indicated uh, a preoccupation or a, a focus on the risk of the downside uh, growth and uh, put, putting uh, inflation uh, in a secondary uh, position. So now they've, they noted specifically the higher energy costs, uh, higher oil prices and commodities uh, as a threat, threat to inflationary pressures. And so for that reason, the inflation uh, balance comes back in. So overall, this is a little bit more hawkish. This is um, it's not the uh, pre-indicator of further rate cuts to come. It's much more of a data-dependent wait, wait and see at, uh, outlook. Uh, what this means for the dollar overall, Overall, uh, in the currency um, market, it's, it's a bit. It, uh, it's, it, it's right now. It's weighing on the uh, the carry trade because the stock market uh, is not liking uh, the, the the balanced view uh, and the fact that uh, further interest rate, uh, rate cuts might not be uh, forthcoming. Um, but uh, obviously, the short dollar trade is still in play, and the market uh, has been betting on uh, lower interest rates rates uh, on the expectation of weaker U.S. growth going forward anyway. So uh, the Fed right now doesn't have the, the data in hand to give that same uh, indication, but the market certainly still has that same overall viewpoint, and they're going to continue to keep selling the dollar. So uh, right now we're just going through a few uh, fluctuations in the immediate aftermath of the release. but. Uh, essentially, we're uh, expecting the uh, the dollar to return uh, to weakness, uh, basically. So the euro continuing to move higher, uh, the British pound continuing to move higher, uh, and the, the the main reservation to that the, the whole uh, presumption of the dollar decline is the fact that we have not seen that. This has been your Forex Commentary with Brian Dolan, Chief Currency Strategist at Forex.com. I'm Remy Hokey. Join us later this afternoon for PM Exchange right here on ForexTV.com.